All right, so you ready to dig into this whole home builder thing? It seems like a lot of folks are sleeping on this sector. Yeah, you know, it's funny when you look at what some of these big names are saying, like Kevin McCormick, the futures trader. Yeah, he's got a, a, a cult following at this point, right? Totally. And he's calling for a major home builder boom. And it's not just him either. Funstrat's Tom Lee is on board too. Okay, so two very different perspectives. We've got McCormick, who's all about the technicals, the charts, the patterns. Exactly. And then you've got Lee, who's deep in the economic weeds, crunching numbers, looking at fundamentals. But they're both saying the same thing, buy home builders. Yeah, which is wild, right? Because like on the surface, you've got everyone freaking out about a housing recession. Doesn't exactly scream buy, you know? So let's break this down. Where do we even start? Well, McCormick's got this whole buy the dip thing going on. He's looking at these home builder ETFs, specifically XHB and ITB, so that's S SPDR, S&P Home Builders ETF, and the iShares US Home Construction ETF. Okay, got it. And he's saying now is the time to jump in, especially as we head into this whole election circus. And he's basing this on, what, some kind of seasonal trend? Yeah, he's a big believer in seasonality. He uses this thing called Larry Williams's true seasonal indicator. Hmm. Rings a bell. Remind me, how does that work again? Basically, it's like a roadmap showing you historically when a stock, or in this case, the entire home builder sector, tends to go up or down. Right, like clockwork. Exactly. And what he's seeing with these ETFs, it's pretty remarkable. There's this consistent upward trend starting get this late October just like now yep and it runs all the way through late April they call it the golden six months golden six months gotta love a good market catchphrase but okay so we've got this seasonal trend but what about the actual economic reality is there anything besides a calendar and a catchy name to suggest that home builders are actually a good buy right now right so that's where Tom Lee's analysis comes in and this is where things get really interesting okay hit me so everyone's freaking out about this housing recession right but Lee's saying, hold on a second, there's something else going on here. He's pointing to the Fed cutting interest rates. Which, doesn't that usually happen when the economy's tanking? Exactly. It seems counterintuitive, right? But Lee's argument is that these rate cuts happening right as we're entering this, like, magically golden six months for home builders. Like a perfect storm almost. Right. He's saying it could create this huge surge in demand for new homes. Because lower interest rates, yeah. people can actually afford to buy. And builders, they're going to be more likely to build because borrowing money is cheaper. Okay, I'm starting to see it. Mm. So we've got the stars aligning, mm. at least according to these two. But what's the catch? Is there something everyone else is missing? Or is this just like too good to be true? It's like everyone's looking at the housing market through like these recession tinted glasses and Lee saying, hey, try these rose colored ones on for a minute. Yeah, exactly. And the best part, it's not just about more houses being built and sold. Lee's talking about this impacting home builders' bottom lines, like big time. He thinks this could seriously boost their earnings, not just revenues. Okay, so we're talking about a potential win-win here. But, you know, it makes you wonder if this whole golden six months thing is so predictable, why isn't everybody and their brother already doing this? Right. You'd think the market would have like figured this out by now, right? Yeah. And, you know, both McCormick and Lee, they've kind of said the same thing. It's like this weird quirk, this anomaly. So we've got a mystery in our hands, a financial riddle. I'm intrigued, but also a little suspicious. You know, I get it. But that's what makes this whole thing so fascinating. We're looking at these two really smart guys both saying, hey, this is a real opportunity. But neither of them can say for sure why it works. So what's our listener supposed to do with that? Like, do we just blindly follow the trends even if we don't fully understand them? Well, I wouldn't say blindly. That's never a good idea, right? right? But I think it's important to remember we're talking about two different approaches here, and they're both pointing to the same conclusion. You've got McCormick, the chart guy, the data whiz, saying, hey, Historically, this is when home builders take off. And then you've got Lee, who's like deep in the economic trenches, coming at it from a completely different angle and saying, yeah, the numbers back this up. Right. So it's not just about blindly following a calendar. There's actual analysis. There's data. There's a thought process behind it. So it's like we're not just throwing darts at a board here. Exactly. But at the same time, we have to acknowledge there's still this element of the unknown. And that's where things get tricky, right? Because every investment decision comes with some level of risk. Okay, so we're not talking about guarantees here, obviously. But with this whole home builder thing, it sounds like there's a lot of potential upside, but maybe even more uncertainty than usual. Maybe. 
Or maybe it's just a different kind of uncertainty. I mean, we're always trying to predict the future in the market, right? And that always involves some level of risk. That's the name of the game, right? Yeah. So what's the takeaway for our listener who's, you know, maybe hearing about this whole home builder thing for the first time and thinking, should I jump in? Uh, what's yeah. the bottom line here? So it's like, we're not saying don't invest. We're just saying be smart about it. Right, exactly. Look, you've got these converging signals, the historical patterns, the interest rate picture, Lee's whole take on the fundamentals. That's a lot of boxes being checked. But, and I think this is key, you've got to weigh that against this golden six months enigma. It's like this wild card in the equation. Okay, so factor in the mystery. Got it. Yeah. But for a listener who's like really trying to wrap their head around this, mm -hmm. What's the one question they should be asking themselves? Like the make or break question. Beyond all the financial stuff, like zoom out for a second. Ask yourself, how long can this really last? Because six months of gold sounds great, but what about the other six? Exactly. And, you know, we haven't even touched on the bigger picture here, right? What about these long-term trends in housing? They're massive. Remote work exploding, people moving all over the place, family structures changing. It's like the whole game is being rewritten. So is this home builder thing a blip or is it a wave? Right. And that's where you got to put on your analyst hat. Go beyond what we've talked about. Look at demographics. Look at migration patterns. Think about how people are actually living and working these days. Then ask yourself, does this home builder opportunity still make sense in that world? OK, so bottom line for our listeners, we've given you the lay of the land, the potential upside, the mystery, the whole nine yards. Now it's up to you to decide. Well said. Do your homework, weigh the risks, and remember, it's your money, your portfolio, your call. Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh. And on that note, folks, thanks for joining us for another deep dive. Until next time, happy investing.